to Rose? It's been in my pocket all day. All right, give it to me. Okay, there. You've come this far now. Go the rest of the way. Uh, no. Um, just give her the letter. Thanks. Yeah, I appreciate it. Wait a minute. Why? Let's at least take a look at her. You look. She's old and ugly and toothless, isn't she? Uh-uh. Well, there's something wrong with her, terribly wrong. Why? I can see it in your face. The fact is, she's a very attractive girl. She really is. Absolutely. But well, I think so. <laughs> of course, that's a matter of personal taste. Now, let's see, uh, who does she look like? Some film star. No, no, give me a second. Uh, more than anything, uh, I'd say she looks like some of the shop. From the shop? From yes. our shop? Yes. Uh, who? Um, Miss Balish. She looks very much like her. Miss Balish. Miss Amelia Balish. I thought you said attractive. Well, I think so. But of course, uh, if you don't care for Miss Balish, you're, you're certainly not going to like this girl. <laughs> They're really that similar? See for yourself. Wait a minute, you're not gonna just leave her there, are you? Well, what would you have me do? You want me to tell her I'm the poor sap who's been writing her letters? She'd make me the laughing stock of the city. How? She wrote some too. No, Dear friend, I took you out of the box. I opened you up. Is that a It is impossible. Why? She did not write those letters. She couldn't have. You think it's just a coincidence? Oh. She just happens to like this cafe. Yeah, you think she just happens to like Anna Karenina? Okay, you, you think she just happens yes, to be using a okay. rose as a bookmark in December? <laughs> but it's Miss Bolish. I can't be in love with Miss Bolish. How do you know until you try? I know her. There's some mistake, Ladislaw. There's got to be. Then talk to her. Find out. She is. She is not your friend. She can't be. Can't she? Uh, Miss Polish! Mr. No, what are you doing here? I'm uh, celebrating. How about you? I'm waiting for someone. Ah, someone in particular? Of course. What kind of girl do you think I am? <laughs> well, you... And never mind, Mr. Novak. I already know. May I sit here? No, you may not. You won't celebrate with me? Celebrate? My freedom, Miss Polish. Tomorrow is Wednesday and I can sleep as late as I want. No, Mr. Novak, I told you, that chair happens to be reserved. You won't have one small farewell drink with me? I can't. One quick drink? <sighs> Ugh, all right, it's very small and very quick. Thank you, Miss Polish. <laughs> The man shakes perfume. And the people who work there. And the people who used to work there. And all the customers. And that covers everything. Good wine. Mr. Novak, are you spying on me? Spying? Did you come here to make sure that I really had a date tonight? That I wasn't just inventing an excuse not to work? Miss Bollish, who would I be spying for? Mr. Merichuk? Mr. Novak, if you do not leave this table immediately, I'm going to have to call the waiter. Yes, madame. Oh. <laughs> there you are. Madam, may I have a word? The Cafe Imperial is a rendezvous for lovers. Look around you. We try to preserve a romantic atmosphere. And I find it very difficult indeed, madam, when you and your husband insist oh. I'm fighting in the middle of it. No, Can't you argue at home? No, 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 this is not my husband. This is a business associate. Well, then can't you discuss business someplace else then? Please. This person you're waiting for, do you know them all? Mr. Novak, will you leave? I still think it's right for somebody to leave a girl sitting all alone in such a public place. Mr. Novak, please leave. 
leave. Even if it is an old friend, a dear friend. Oh, I don't wish to discuss it with you, Mr. Novak. What's the name of that music? I think my mother used to sing when I was a baby. So did mine. Miss Ballas, do you realize we found something we have in common? At one time, we were both infants. <laughs> yes, but you see, I grew up. I think it's called the Tango Trishy. Wait, what? What if he's already been here and seen us together? And gone, I will never forgive you! Oh, God. What's this? Oh, put that back! Anna Karenina. Yes, it's a book by Leo Tolstoy, a Russian. Now put it back. And what's this? That is none of your business. Miss Polish, is it possible that you've never even met this man? That is ridiculous. Of course it is. <coughs> and yet, some girls and some men do make appointment with strangers. And sometimes it goes very well. But other times, not so well. I remember a girl I used to know. She wrote to someone through a Lonely Hearts Club, and uh, they corresponded for a while, and uh, then they decided to meet. And she was to have a rose in her book, and he was to have the same flower in his buttonhole. And they did recognize each other, I guess. And uh, the next day, the police found her left leg floating in a Danube. <laughs> they never did find the rest of her, or her book. At the count of five, I'll scream. So you'd better go and soon one. I just want to talk to you. Don't forget, I've had some wine and nothing to eat since noon. Two. Miss Polish, are you intoxicated? Dante once described all the depths of hell. If I had my way, you would know them well. Three. Miss Polish. Ugh. You are easily the most insensitive man alive. I surprised at you. I'm sorry, but I'm fighting for my life. Four. Four and a half. Will you go? Then five. Ah! Are you trying to ruin me, lady? I warn you. Get out. No, I... That's all. Get out. Wait, lady. You two. Get out. Screaming like lunatics, that's all. Get out! How dare you speak to a lady that way? Ladies do not scream in cafes. Oh, I'm sorry. You see, it wasn't her fault. There was a fly in her wine. I said there was a fly in her wine. Shh. Where is it? Show it to me. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. You see, the lady swallowed it. She swallowed a fly? Wouldn't you scream? Good God! Waiter! Waiter! Really, Mr. Novak, no matter how unhappy you are, how much you despise me, haven't you had enough revenge? I don't understand you. Well, how could you, Miss Polish, when you never listened to me, never even looked at me? I'm looking at you now. Shall I tell you what I see? A smug, pompous, petty tyrant, very sure of himself and very ambitious. But I see him 10 years from now selling shampoo. And 20 years from now, selling shampoo and 30 years from now still selling shampoo because basically do you know what he is a not very bright not very handsome not very young man with balding hair and the